I'm Ruby Jane and I love science a lot. My favourite thing about science is doing experiments and running up our hypothesis. My name is Dr Tian Hun and I specialise in the field of biomedical plants. I want to be a scientist. I'm a scientist. Hello Ruby Jane. Hi. Nice to meet you. I hear you want to be a scientist. Yes, I do. Let's get you a lab coat and get yes. started. Come on into labs and I'll get you a lab coat. So Ruby Jane, I heard you have a few questions for me about science. The first thing I would like to know is why did you want to become a scientist? Ever since I was a little girl, I loved science and I wanted to do everything and learn everything I could about that. And so when I went to university, I met a great scientist and she was a professor who really encouraged and supported me to do what I wanted to do. So Ruby Jane, what made you want to start your journey in science? Well, so when I got a science experiment kit for Christmas and we started doing science in class twice a week. And I like going to the beach or places to collect rocks for my rock collection. Oh, that's fantastic. And it's so great to see your passion and you're taking it and doing something with it. Yeah. So Ruby Jane, let's go have a look at some more labs. Yes, follow please. me. So what's an average day at work for you? Well, every day is different and it's really exciting. Uh, some days I have experiments, some days I'm out in the field collecting things like plants and rocks. Um, most days I have interactions with amazing scientists who do amazing things for the world. So this is my rock collection. Um, I've got quite a few rocks and I'll start with this box. So this rock is a caloropite crystal. The interesting fact about it, it's known as a peacock ore because it's of, of its pretty colours. Yeah. It has like the blue. Can you have a look? Yeah, sure. Yeah. You've got these little like diamond like structures here. Yeah. And then when you shine it on different lights, it changes. See how the reason why I really like this one is because I grew it myself with a rock making kit and it took me about a week to grow. That's amazing. Are you ready for something special, TM? Yes. So this rock is called a thunder egg. And the interesting fact about it is that it's formed in pockets of gas in hot lava. Goes like that. Oh, yeah. that's why it's called an egg. Yeah, and then like it breaks. You break open. You can see that. Yeah. Fascinating. And it's amazing how nature produces something so perfect, yeah. so round, isn't it? And you open up, it's like a hidden secret. I see why you like science. I see why you like rocks. Yeah. Ruby Jane, that's an amazing collection you have. Thank you for bringing it. Now, I've got something I'd like to share with you. So what I've got is a plant called red gag. It's got lots of carotenoids, which are good for your eyes and skin. And it's also got lycopene, which is good for fighting against cancer. I want to show you a red gag plant, which is what this looks like. Now, it's winter, so it's not up yet, but it's got these little shoots that will come up as we get into spring. But I've got something even better, which is some red gag um, oil that you can try. Would you like to try some? Yes, please. Go, now have a taste. It tastes unusual. It's really nice and it tastes a bit like um, olive oil. One of my favourite ways to eat this is red gag ice cream <laughs> with passion fruit. Can you tell me what the hardest part about being a scientist is? Well, there's a lot of work involved um, and it's very long hours. Can you tell me what the best part about being a scientist is? Well, there's many benefits. One is the amazing people I meet and they're passionate and they love what they do. And the second part is we make such a difference to the world. Like this sort of stuff, it's working towards a cancer-free world. What are you looking forward to in terms of becoming a scientist? I'm looking forward to do, doing lots of fun experiments and hopefully trying to change the world. Oh, fantastic. What a great ambition.
Thanks so much for showing me around today. Before I go, what's the best piece of advice you'd give young girls like me to become a scientist? I think you follow your dreams, do everything with passion, and ask lots of questions. Keep collecting your rocks and talk to people. Yeah. Bye. Nice day. Bye. It was really great meeting a female scientist. The bit that I enjoyed the most was everything. <laughs> it is important for girls to know that they can be scientists because they can do anything. And I'm going to be a scientist.